Good morning, guys. Good morning. How's everybody doing? A new week. It's a holiday here in Canada. Uh, don't know. Don't think it is in the States. It's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. Anyways, not financial advisor, not financial advice. Make sure you guys are doing your research out there, okay? Also, guys, check out the channel sponsor, L Bank. Link is down below for that. Do your spot trading, leverage trading, copy trading. No KYC required. So check that out. Let's have a quick look at the market, you guys. Jasmine, look at this, guys. So Jasmine down 3.6%. Look at this opportunity that sits in front of you right now. You get the opportunity to buy your favorite projects at such a discounted price right now, guys. 10 cents for SEI Network. You cannot go wrong. This is what opportunity looks like, you guys. Learn to uh, identify it and learn to take advantage of it. Bitcoin at 27.5. Taraxa down 7.5%. Good DCA opportunities all around, guys. $87 quant. You cannot complain. Caspa down 4%. Awesome opportunities out there, guys. Silver lining, right? Just in, rumors in the XRP community that BlackRock is officially partnering with Ripple. Guys, this is the kind of fake news and fake rumors that get spread. Um, there is nothing, nothing to back this up whatsoever. Uh, so, yeah, careful about this kind of uh, BS that gets spread around. Possibility number one, the SEC moves uh, forward with the trial next April against the individual defendants. Chances, 39.456%. The judge has left only the hardest parts of the ca trial case up for trial. The SEC could easily take an L at trial and have some of its dirty laundry aired at the same time. Uh, uh, if the SEC goes to trial, an appeal of the case won't be filed until 2025. That means uh, an appellate ruling likely won't come until 2026. Then, even if the SEC won an appeal in 2026, the case would most likely be remanded back to Judge Torres for further litigation. So the SEC wants to push the entire case uh, to trial, then appeal the parts of the judgment against Ripple it doesn't like. Uh, fair enough. But the most likely outcome in that situation is a final resolution in 2027, June 14th, 2027, to be exact. Good luck with that. Uh, we will be halfway, we will be almost hitting the next bull run. <laughs> We'll be able to year out from the next bull run at that point. Possibility number two. The SEC could settle the case against the individual defendants and move forward with obtaining the final judgment against Ripple and then appeal. Chance 32.113%. This is the SEC's best option for that reason. I doubt they'll do it. Settling uh, out the individual defendants gets the SEC and appellate court about 9 to 12 months faster and saves its resources and face by bypassing a very difficult and overreaching case. After settlement of the individuals, the case would go straight to remedies litigation. Remedies litigation still would require months and months to complete which was part of the SEC's argument as to why it needed an early appeal. This option would still go deep into 2026, August 14th, 2026, to be exact. Option three, the SEC settles all litigation against Ripple and the individual defendants. Yes, this could happen at the settlement conference, uh, such as the judge required below, but the SEC has shown very little desire to compromise thus far. And this would be probably the third, I think, in the last two years. Uh, the third time that the judges ordered the SEC and Ripple to get together to discuss uh, settlement talks. Something along those lines. Settlement is a good option for the SEC. It gets to publish another quote-unquote win and collect uh, a big, big check from the bad guys. 
the judge cleared this path for them by clarifying that her ruling only applies to the facts and uh, facts specific to XRP. Chances of this happening are 18.987%. Finally, something else I've thought that could happen, who knows, chances of happening, 8.675%. Uh, as you can see, the SEC has a couple of bad lengthy options. Meanwhile, the summary judgment is the law of the land, and that can't even possibly change until 2026 at the earliest. <clears throat> All right, guys, moving into the next uh, article real quick. Just wanted to let you guys know, if you want to support the channel, $4.99 a month, click the join button down below. Uh, allows you to become a member. You get exclusive content down there, guys. Uh, we upload uh, micro cap jams, super early projects such as Caspa, things like that. If you want to get in early on those kinds of projects, definitely jump over to the member side. If you're new to crypto and you have a lot of questions and a lot to learn, then it's very beneficial for you because you get to do one-on-one -on -one video calls with me where you get to ask all the questions that you want. I can help you understand this market cycle and uh, how to DCA in and out, how to take profits, things of that nature. So definitely check out the member side, guys. It supports the channel. So yeah. All right, what is next? Why Caspa may struggle to unseat Bitcoin despite speed claims. A series of enthusiastic tweets from Caspa advocates about the cryptocurrency's scaling roadmap while taking aim at Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, more impartial over, uh, observers urge caution around premature uh, declarations of superiority. One post uh, from account Caspa News claims Caspa will soon reach 10 blocks per second with the with an end goal of 100 bps this would dramatically this would dramatically eclipse bitcoin's roughly 1 block per 10 minutes uh -huh, no kidding the tweet asserts caspa possesses more advanced technology uh, that will soon replace major networks while matching their security and decentralization but such brazen predictions uh, of overtaking entrenched rivals appear overzealous to some. Meanwhile, analyst Moonshot Josh points to Caspa's surging, uh, surging hash rates as a bullish sign. However, comparable metrics like mining power have risen for failed projects before. While Caspa uh, has... A, a ardent, uh, sorry, while Caspa has ardent uh, proponents, its path to mainstream adoption and disrupting dominant platforms remains unclear, boasting a theoretical uh, throughput without proven large scale use offers a limited indication of long term viability. Independent experts advise taking bold claims of Caspa killing Bitcoin with a heavy grain of salt, actual utility growth depends on far more than speed and fees. Uh, feeds, sorry. Caspa's developers may need to unlock uh, an innovative scaling solution beyond proposed Bitcoin upgrades, but putting it effectively into practice across a live decentralized network with billions in value at stake will prove the only true test. So just some you know perspective from the other side you guys um now i personally have extreme faith in caspa uh, i continue to dca into it uh, trying to get a million coins for myself right now i have full faith in it i am very bullish on it just to be clear on that um i don't see caspa overtaking bitcoin i don't really see anything overtaking bitcoin in the short term at some point, yes, but not in our lifetime, most likely. Um, that being said, though, I do see Caspa in the top 10, close to the top five. Uh, I definitely see it between four and five dollars in the next bull run 2025. So, those are my thoughts on that. If uh, you want to know more about my thoughts on it, check out the Caspa video that I made uh, last night uh, and uploaded. Watch out 28 altcoins have uh, massive token unlocks in the coming week here's 
the day-to-day, hour-by-hour list. Uh, TKO, value, uh, market value, $36.2 million. Token opening amount, $4.50 million, uh, which is 12.51% of the market percent of the market cap uh, on October 9th, which is today at 3 o'clock. Wi-Fi market value 3.27 million. Token opening amount is 1.28 million. Uh, that is also today at three o'clock. Myra, uh, which we just did a breakdown video on Myra over on the member side. By the way, guys, if you're interested in Myra, definitely check that out. Their market uh, market value 7.53 million. Uh, or seven, sorry, 753.25 million. Sorry, I was off. Token amount, uh, so token opening amount, 1.29 million. Uh, immutable X market value, 672.51 million. Token opening amount, 10.54 million. Uh, we got ECOX, not even, not really sure what that one is, but uh, as you can see. They're opening 6.98 million cap, which is KAP. They are opening 5.19 million uh, GMT step in. Uh, they are opening 13.29 million Cypher, uh, 1.09 million uh, uh, CGPT, opening 2.20 million. ICP opening at 10.17 million. Uh, Wild opening 1.01 million. Bitmex, uh, BMEX opening 5, 5 million. IP3 opening 1.18 million. Uh, Aptos opening 23.95 million. FT 3.68 million. Uh, GFAL. Uh, 5.90 million uh, radar opening 1.08 million uh, sweat opening 5.70 million uh, UXP opening 1.36 million to um, RSS3 opening 2.08 million BICO uh, bioeconomy opening 5.14 billion. Uh, artificial liquid intelligence ALI is opening a 4.05 million. Uh, Nakamoto Games Naka opening 1.18 million. ZBC opening a 2.52 million. BIT, which is BitDAO, opening 76.58 million. And NYM opening 1.52 million. Citus opening 1.18 million and Cyber opening 5.56 million. Uh, if you're holding any of these projects, guys, they are these are their token unlocks that are happening this month between today and the 15th. So that's this week. Uh, be advised that you may see uh, dips in the prices as a result of these uh, projects unlocking more tokens into circulation. Uh, 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 is Gala going to zero? Gala price suddenly drops 8% with 500 million volume as new meme coin raises $300,000. <clears throat> as a leading game five project, Gala Games continues to tremble in the fallout, uh, sorry, tumble in the fallout of the major legal dispute between co-founders, uh, Shearmeyer and Thurston with the sorry, with the future of Gala at risk, bank holders are asking, is Gala going to zero? This comes amid allegations of theft um, uh, amounting to 130 million in Gala tokens and corporate mismanagement by Thurston alongside his investment firm, True North United Investments. While Thurston counterclaims alleges uh, Shearbuyer lent Gala funds to himself for personal use and even uh, purportedly created Gala-related entities in Switzerland and Dubai, positioning himself as a controlling shareholder 
to pursue his, pursue his own business interests. Yet despite the dramatic legal dispute, uh, there are signs of life in the Gala ecosystem. As top game developers, Peter Mol, uh, Molyeux announced a launch date for a new GameFi business simulator in conjunction with Gala Games. The blockchain-based legacy title uh, will launch on October 26th to feature land NFTs uh, excuse me, and, and, feature, uh, and feature land NFTs and in-game earning mechanisms. Uh, as price action enters uh, localized retracements, Gala Games is currently trading at a market price of 1.4 cents, representing a 24-hour change of plus 0.69%. This comes following a brief recovery by Gala following a break back above the 200 DMA uh, on September 29th in the in a plus 23% move, they saw Gala recover almost a month of loss value. Uh, that's right, guys. Uh, Gala finished September very strong, as I recall. Price action is now fighting to consolidate above the 20 DMA. Sorry, at the uh, 1.45 1, 1. cent level. Meanwhile, the 200 DMA remains uh, descendant. Uh, but high up at 0.2.67 cents, a level untouched for 154 days since May 5th. Despite the impressive uh, upside recovery, the RSI uh, has remained at low bullish divergence, indicating the potential for a strong rally from the potential foothold of support developing above the 20 DMA. Uh, while the uh, MACD has also flipped to the bullish signal at uh, 3031, signaling the appetite and buy pressure at this level is strong. Overall, overall then, Gala Games faces an interesting uh, duality here, with technical structure appearing incredibly, po incredibly poised for a breakout rally but trading against the background of significant risk streaming from the founder's legal dispute. Uh, to the upside, a bounce here would target support at two cents, a potential 37.65% uh, increase. Uh, while downside risk remains significant with a potential tumble back down to lower uh, trend line support at 1.2 cents, a possible uh, fall of 17.4%. This leaves Gala Games uh, with a risk reward of 2.16, a strong entry with upside potential, but risking serious downside stemming from the founder's legal dispute. But while GameFi enthusiasts are balancing the potentially catastrophic legal battle against a moderate uh, pump of 37.65% gain, smart money are betting big on an emerging meme coin project aiming to capitalize on inter-community uh, tribalism. To meet, uh, meet meme combat, community battles, meme coin races to 350k. So, uh, so we're not going to get into this uh, game this meme thing just wanted to talk about gala here guys so what do you guys think are we going to see a surge or is is the community going to end up becoming numb to this uh to this legal battle between the co-founders and, and eventually going to continue to pump um my thoughts on this guys are very simple i'm still extremely bullish on gala they're continuing to develop continuing to grow um, I don't see the project going anywhere. Big things are happening with Gala Music. Big things are happening with uh, Gala Films um, and Gala Games as well. Like the, they just were having a tournament, I believe, in the new poker game that uh, was launched on Gala. So um, I remain super bullish. I would be cautious if this legal battle was going on and all other development uh, came to a screeching halt. It would concern me. 
but development has not slowed at all for this project, which is bullish for us as holders. That being said, guys, smash a like, smash the subscribe button. Um, definitely check out the join button to become a member, supports the channel, get exclusive content, get one-on-one -on -one video calls with me. Uh, we can chat crypto and... Um, yeah, you also get portfolio updates when I'm buying, when I'm selling, and when I am DCAing. Uh, so that is it for this one, and I will see you guys in the next one.